know it all yeah. I am not moved Do not be moved yeah, By what you feel By what you see By what you hear He's gone before you I am not moved by what I see. You've seen it all. You've gone before me. I can never be moved. By what I feel Regardless of how I feel I can never be moved Ooh, I am not moved By what you said to me Whose report do you believe? Good morning, everyone. <laughs> welcome, welcome to 555 Pray, Fast, Give. Just worshiping God this morning. And um, just good morning. You know, it's been a week. It's been a year for everyone, I think. Just pushing through, pushing in the God. So whatever you're going through this morning, just shake it off and know that you have the victory. You have triumph. God is there with you. We, this is 555 Pray Fast Give in case you're just joining us for the first time and you don't know, you know, what we're, what we do here. This is Pray Fast Give. Every Friday we get together and we get to pray together so whatever your prayer concerns are, put it in the chat. If you're just jumping on, put your name in the chat. Say hello. Tell us, um, share with us what you're going through, what God is doing for you. For you. Sh share with us the victories in your life as well as the things that you're going through. Um, so we pray every Friday. And together, whatever your prayer requests are, we fast every Friday together. You're going to fast lunch today. Woohoo! That's always fun, fasting lunch. <laughs> and then you are going to give. Every Friday we give and we give to WAIO.org and you give the money that you would have used um, for your lunch so when you give this money, it goes out to people who are having some challenges in their life. So we pray together, we fast together, and we give together. And there is a synergy about that. And so just welcome. Welcome to Pray, Fast, Give. This month, every um, the Hebraic calendar is very interesting. We are on God's timing. And this is the first of the Hebraic calendar. This is the first month in the Hebraic calendar, and it is the month of Abib or Aviv, whichever one you want to say. This is a picture of the wind, the breath, and praise, the Lamb of God. We celebrate the Passover lamb in this month. And it's, in very, it's very important for you to know that this month is the first of the month of the Hebraic calendar. And you want to start your year out the way you want to go forward throughout the year. And God starts out with the tribe of Judah. And this is um, associated with praise, the wind, the breath, the praise. And so we're going into this first month praising God thanking God for everything he's done, everything that we've gone through, even the bad stuff. We thank God that he brought us through it. 
and he continues to carry us every single day. And that is what this first month is about. But let me show you, um, we will be talking about the calendars all through the year. So this calendar, it started on Sunday or I'm not sure when it started. So don't don't quote me on that. But anyway, this is the Hebraic month of um, Aviv and it's associated with the tribe of Judah and Aviv uh, is Nisan. So this is what we are doing every single month. We are going through the calendar because there is a certain there with each calendar day, a uh, month, with each calendar month, and I'm kind of tripping up over my words here, but with each calendar month, God tells you what's happening in that month. And in this month is all about praise because God wants you to go into the year with praise. God wants you to put, put him first in everything that you do, put God first, no matter what you're going through, put God first at the beginning of your day. When we're not here on 555, get up and put God first. If you don't do anything but throw your hands up and say, Lord, I thank you for this day. I thank you for my family. I thank you that I have food to eat. I thank you that I have clothes Lord, we give thanks to you today and every day for everything that you have done for us and everything you continue to go do for us. Even when we're going through the bad stuff, we give you praise, Lord. And that is what this month is about, praising the Lord, going into the new uh, calendar year, praising God. So, you know, God is so good and he he lets us go through things so that we have a testimony and we can tell about how good he is because no matter what we go through, he is so amazing. And so let me just tell you, of course, you know, I always have a story. So last week before last, I went to the doctor and, you know, when you go to the doctor, they always want to take give you tests. And so I had blood tests, you know, I had a whole workup of air, all kinds of things. And later on that week, like I got an email from um, the lab. It was, uh, you know, I've never gotten an email from the lab before. And on the report, it had some bad stuff. And I was looking at it and I was like, huh, why didn't I get this? Why didn't the doctor call and tell me you know, about this. And so I'm looking at the report. And so I received this email. It was a really bad report, you guys. It was just really bad. So I had not talked to the doctor at this time, at this point in time. But, you know, God is good because when I received the report, I actually said in the atmosphere, this is a bad report and I'm not receiving it. I'm not going to be moved by this. And so I continued on with what I was doing. I went to the doctor um, and had my follow up. And she said, you should, um, she, when I went to the doctor and I had the follow up, she said, you should not have received that email. And she said, that's strange. She said, because that was the email from the lab. I shouldn't have received that email. But she said, let me assure you, she said, Nothing on that report is true. What they do is they assign codes to everything for insurance purposes. So um, there was a code for everything. And some of the things were not good. I mean, like it was one of those car wreck reports, you know, like you're like, oh, my God, like I'm about to die. <laughs> and so um the so what what they do is they assign codes to each test that you're taking but that doesn't mean that you have that and so i received this report through an email probably erroneously 
Um, and she said that I should have never received that report. But the thing is, you know, like the enemy likes to come in and trick you up trip you up and make you think something's going on when it's not going on. But the thing about it is, is I did not receive that bad report. But here's the thing. Even if you do get a bad report, don't receive it. And even if you are in the midst of going through whatever it is the doctor said about you, don't receive it. Still don't receive it. Praise God in the midst of all of it. And I have a story about my friend, Edith. I just talked to her, I think yesterday or the day before my mom was like, have you checked on Edith? And I was like, no, uh, I, I hadn't checked on my friend Edith and cause Edith's been going through some things. And so I called Edith and oh my goodness, she was like all bubbly and happy. And she was like, the doctor told her all of this stuff. And she was like, you know, she said, um, I feel good. I'm I'm going about my business doing what God has told me to do. And, you know, <laughs> people like that, you're like, oh, my goodness. Like she was so focused on what God has for her that everything that she was going through, it did not phase her one bit. And so I want to encourage you to be like that, because in the midst of what you're going through, there is victory on the other side. There is victory. You're already working, walking in victory anyway. But but for God, whatever the doctor has said, whatever your finances look like, whatever your relationships look like, Walk through it in triumph. And the way you do that is by praising the Lord. And that is the month we are in right now. So there is another thing that happened to me last week also. Um, I um, was working out a deal with uh, some people and I had to go and sign a contract. So everything was going okay. But then we, we you know, we got into a little bit of, mm, you know, so we were kind of working things out, but then all of a sudden it shifted right in the middle of it. And it was like, oh my goodness, like oh, we have the victory in this. And so um, me and my sister, we left. Um, and when we left, we were praising God and thanking God for what he had done. We left, we were so happy and just pumped about what God did, how he moved in that situation. Well, fast forward a whole day, I get another call from the same company that I'm working this contract out with, and I have to go back up there. When I get there, they tell me that everything that we were praising God about and praising God for, you know what? They made a mistake. That's what they said. You know, they made a mistake in how they figured out the math and all of that. But, you know, as we sat there and we kept talking, God came back around and worked that thing out again. So even though they had made a mistake, God still worked that thing out again. And while I was sitting there, I was thinking, OK, Lord, you don't make mistakes. Like, why are we here? What's going on? And God just kind of he turned it around. He walked us back through it again. But, you know, during the whole time, that's why you have to go through things with a spirit of excellence, with a, the right attitude, with a godly attitude, knowing that in the end, it's all going to work out on your behalf. No matter what you're going through, it is all going to work out for your good. OK, so do not be moved by what you hear or see. Just don't. Don't be moved by any of that. And so, <clears throat> hold on just one moment. If it looks like the feet, don't worry about it. Do this instead. If something looks like the feet, if something looks like it's devastating in your life, do this instead. Praise the Lord. Just get before God and start praising him. Throw your hands up in the air. Get down on your knees. Bow your head down and just start praising God, thanking God 
for his goodness, for everything that he's done in your life. Start reciting back to God all the good things that he's done and then tell him, God, I know you got this thing too. Whatever it is you're going through, just say, God, I know you have this obstacle that I have right in front of me. I know you have it also. And so that is what this month is about. It's about praising God. When when I feel at my worst, what I do is I press into God. In fact, I press into God more when I am at my worst, when things are not going well. And that's what we've got to learn. We've got to learn these strategies of pressing into God, no matter what it looks like. And in Galatians 6, um, chapter 6, verses 7 through 9, it says, do not be deceived. God is not mocked for whatsoever a man soweth that shall he also reap. And I want you to read the rest of that um, verses eight and nine, because it continues on to tell you more about it. But here's the thing. If you're praising God 24 seven, well, you know, as much every time you think about God, you're praising him. You're going to reap all of that amazing um, praise and worship back because God is not mocked. We um, tend to, <laughs> this is what we do. So we have what I like to call um, the TV God. If we're not worshiping God on purpose in our life, then you are worshiping something else by default. So I want you to think about that. If you are not worshiping God on purpose, if you're not praising him, thanking him, worshiping him on purpose, then you are worshiping something else by default. And there are many, many gods. We don't call them gods. We call it, oh, I'm watching TV. I'm watching a series on TV. Um, I am playing golf because you know, I am on the golf 24 seven. I'm playing basketball. I'm doing that 24 seven. And there's, look, there is nothing inherently wrong with any of this stuff. But if you're worshiping, if you're spending more time with it and you haven't even started your day off with God, then you are worshiping these things more than you are worshiping God. So worship God on purpose every single day, every single day, praise God on purpose every single day. Um, other things that may be a God to you is your house, your job, your title, your position, our children, relationships, money, drugs, sex. Um, just don't be deceived or because God is not mocked by any of this. Whatever you are sowing into God, that's what you're going to get back. Not that he's not going to be there when things go wrong, but just know that God wants your attention. He's very jealous of who or what you are putting your attention on. Okay, so one more thing about this month. Um, this month is, is a really great month. So just be careful about what you're saying and how you're expressing yourself. So that's why I'm encouraging you during this month. This is the month to praise God. Make sure you're praising God and you're not cursing your life. You're not speaking things on your life that would, that uh, um, is a curse because your words have power. Absolutely. Everything that you say has power. So be very careful about you, what you say. Be intentional about what you say. Say those good things that God has said about you. You say that. Put that in the atmosphere. Don't put cursing. Even when you're upset or angry about something, don't put those curses out in the atmosphere. Put in the atmosphere the things of God. And so I encourage you to read Psalm 16 and Psalm 18. My cousin Shia gave those to me last night. She prayed over me for 555. 
to be able to push this out to you all so that you have the tools you need during this month. So when you're going through things and you don't know what to pray, you don't know how to pray, open up your Bible and read out loud Psalm 16, read out loud Psalms 18. They are powerful. Psalm 18 starts out with, I love you, Lord. My strength, the Lord is my rock, my fortress, my deliverer, my shield, and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. I call to the Lord who is worthy of praise, and I have been saved from my enemies. And that's just the beginning of the Psalms. It goes all the way through, that's uh, Psalms 18, and it goes all the way through 1 through verse 50, and all of it is about the praise of God and how he is delivering us from everything that we are going through. So when you're going through and you're angry and you're upset, remember God is on your side and you have the victory in everything that you're going through, no matter what it looks like. So let me tell you this one last thing. And while I tell you this, I want you, if you have any prayer requests, I want you to go ahead and put those in the chat. If you have any praise reports, go ahead and put that in the chat. And I forgot to tell you to put your name in the chat and say hello this morning. Um, and just give a shout out about how God, how great God is and what he is doing in your life. So I can share that with everyone because, yeah, I have these stories, but I want to hear your stories, too. I want to hear what God is doing for you right here in this moment, what God has done for you throughout the week. So I want you to put that in the chat. Put your name in the chat. Every time we get on here, you are welcome to do that because we want to hear we are in partnership with one another. We are in covenant. Our alignment has to be with God first and then with everyone that we come in contact with. Now, you know, we don't love everybody and we don't um, like everybody, but God has called us to show love and, and love. He wants us to love everyone. But sometimes, you know, sometimes we just don't dive right with everyone. But even then, respond in love. Respond the way you would want someone to respond to you in love, with kindness, with grace, with mercy, giving people a second chance, not counting them out when they mess up because we're all human and we mess up. Um, we're human. We're messy. Our lives are messy. So just remember, give people the same grace you would give yourself. Give them a second chance, just like you would give yourself. So don't count people out. So um, here's my last story. Okay, you know my cousin Shia, she's been on here a few times. And the thing about that is when she moved to Texas, before she moved to Texas, she had applied for all these jobs. And before she moved, she got um, a job offer and she had the job completely. She went ahead and moved to Texas. When she got to Texas, they told her she didn't have a job. Talking about devastating, like you have moved um, three states, four states over, however many states over it is. My geography is not, is not that great, but you moved and you had a promise of a job. And, 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 and then when you get there, you turn out, it turns out that mm, you don't have a job. How are you going to live? How are you going to make it? How are you going to go forward? But before she left, we knew she had a job. We were praising and thanking God. It was amazing. We were pumped. And then when she got there and she found out, oh, you know what? I don't have a job. You know what she did anyway? She praised God anyway. Um, me and my other sisters, uh, Lisa and Laura and Tawanda, and um, we all praised God on her behalf also because we knew God was going to work that thing out. And guess what? He worked that thing out in about like a month. Because it was during the summer when she moved, but he worked that thing out in about a month and she had a job and she was working and everything was OK. So no matter what it looks like, you guys, no matter how bad it looks, I'm encouraging you to praise the Lord in all your circumstances. Now, let's see who we have on this morning. I see um, we have my cousin Alicia. She said, good morning. 
And then Lynn says good morning and Jadetta says good morning. And Jadetta says she wants to thank the Lord for his faithfulness. Please pray for the students. I have the privilege to teach on the secondary and post-secondary level. I will do that. And thank you, Lord. Thank you for it. That is right. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness. Yes. Thank you, Lord. And then Lynn, Lynn says good morning and happy Friday. May God um, blessings be upon you. And her prayer request, um, so my prayer request is I need prayer. God knows the situation. Absolutely. And you know, it's okay to put an unspoken prayer request in the chat because we all have things that, you know, sometimes we just can't talk about them or we just don't need to talk about them or everyone don't need to know about what we're going through. And so you can put on their unspoken prayer request. So thank you this morning, um, Lynn. And then um, Dunn uh, Weeby says, greetings, mom. And I don't know who he's speaking to, but greetings to his mom. <laughs> and then we have M. Wright says, good morning. I just watched a video of yours two years ago and I noticed you were live. Welcome. I'm so glad you were able to jump on. And she also says, my name is Michelle. I need prayer for more understanding of Yahweh's word. And we will pray for that for you this morning, Michelle. And then one more. Um, this is from Patty. Patty says, praise, push, she says, praise, push, praise to God. Today, be the be the joyous and encourage. I heard praise push through anyway. God is working everything out no matter what it looks like. Absolutely, Patty, you are right. And that is absolutely a word for, that's what God's been saying all morning. No matter what it looks like, you hit it right on the head, Patty, no matter what it looks like, you praise and push through anyway, because God has victory for you. No matter what it looks like, God has victory for you. And so we're just going to pray for all, for everyone that put in a prayer request this morning. And I have um, another unnamed person with a prayer request this morning. And we're also going to be praying for my cousin, um, Dewan. My friend Edith, my friend Debbie, uh, I have a cousin named Ivory whose grandbaby has been going through, her oldest grandbaby has been going through some things. Um, this uh, past week, we are going to pay for the Gambles and the Bells and the Parkers and, um, and for the students and for um, Lynn's unnamed prayer request and for um, Michelle's prayer requests also, and for um, Judetta's prayer requests. So that is what we are praying for this morning. And we're just going to start out by giving God praise. Lord, we just praise you and we thank you. Father, you are our Father who is in heaven. We lift up your holy name. You are Yahweh. You are Jehovah Jower. You are Jehovah Shalom. You are Jehovah Shitkanu. Father, sit canoe, Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, you are our righteousness. You are our peace. You are our provider, Father. You give us everything we need, Lord, and we say yes to you. We come into agreement with you. We come into alignment with you, Lord. We know how amazing you are, Father. And so we pray right now for any curses that are circulating in our life, that is why it is important for us to praise in this month because we are breaking off curses in our lives starting at the beginning of the year of the Hebraic year. We are breaking these curses off our lives by speaking praises into the atmosphere. And so, Lord, we just thank you for what you are doing right here, right now, for everyone that is a part of this. Lord, you said one will put a thousand in flight and two ten thousand. Lord, we have a whole troop here, Lord, well, along with the angels that you have sent to, to, um, to, Keep us from dashing our foot against a stone. So, Lord, we thank you 
for your mercy, for your grace. And no matter what we're going through, Lord, we know that it is for our benefit, that we have the victory, that we are triumphant in this. And no matter what it looks like, we are going to praise you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for supplying all of our needs everything that we need, everything that we can ask for in Jesus name. Amen. 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 And you guys look, that is pray fast give. I forgot to tell you to do this. Make sure that yes, we are praying, we are fasting, we are giving. Make sure you do the give part. There is synergy in that. And you know, when you give, that is a form of worship also. You're giving the um, giving a portion of what you have. Tithing is um, worshiping God because you are being obedient to the Lord. When you tithe, when you uh, give offerings, when you give your first fruit, this is how you praise the Lord. You also praise the Lord by bowing down and thanking him for everything that he has given you um, every single day. Make sure you are worshiping God intentionally this month, intentionally every single day and not worshiping something else by default. And that is pray, fast, give. You all have a blessed day and don't forget to fast your lunch. Have a great morning.